Hi, welcome to Oka Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to change the 2009 Honda Accord EXL V6 sedan, the bulb for the low beam, from a halogen bulb to an LED bulb. And this one I have here, this one's by Lace Fit. It's 36 watts, 30 hundred lumens. And here are some of the specs on the back over here. It's got a bit of ballast, so it's actually pretty low profile. And the model, or the part number, is 9006. And before you purchase it, just make sure you go to the LaceFit website or on the LaceFit Amazon store and just make sure you're getting the correct part number for your vehicle. If you have any questions, just post it in the, in the questions section because they do respond to customer inquiries. Here's the headlight. You can see that this is a lot smaller than the one I previously showed. This one, the electronic ballast is built into it. Doesn't really take up that much more space. It's got a fan built into it. Here's the OED. And here's the connector. The only tool you really need is a flat screwdriver. The other tools are optional, but I would still recommend it. Flashlight, pair of gloves, and the jack, basically the tools to remove the wheels. And the reason I'll recommend removing the wheel is because here's the headlight. That means the bulb is positioned around here. If you're trying to access it from a or under the hood, see how there's a metal piece? My hand is not that small. I can't reach in there and pull out the bulb. Same with this side. The light bulb is about over here. It's all covered up. And if your hand is small enough, sure, go for it. After removing the wheel, I have a lot more room to work with. It's also easier for me to film. But if this is your first time, I'll recommend it. If you've done this before, you don't have to remove the wheel because all you need to do is just pop out these clips. You can do that even with the wheel in place. And to pop out the clips, you just need that flat screwdriver. Let's just pry it a little bit out to loosen it. And now I can just pop this part out. And just pull it out with my hand the remainder of the way. Because with this little thing pushed in, it locks it in place. Now there's about seven or eight throughout this little plastic fender piece on up here, there's others over there, and you just need to remove enough so that you can pull this plastic liner back in order to access the, the, the bulb. And also there are about three of them on the bottom over here. I pull the plastic liner back. Now that's the low beam headlight, the one with the white connector. I just need to twist it counterclockwise, then pull it out. to wiggle it a little bit. There it is. I'm gonna need two hands, but what I'm gonna do is press this clip over here, this piece over here, and pop it out. Here's the two light bulbs. The left one was the one I just took out, the halogen, and I'm holding it. This part is on top. This is on the bottom. To remove it, turn it counterclockwise, pull it out, and unclip the power. What I'm gonna do when I install it is push it in this way, then turn it. I'm gonna turn it once these are inside the tracks. And when I turn it, I'm gonna hold this part, the heat sink area. See this piece? Yep. One track, two, three. And it's gonna be a bit hard for me to film it while my hand's in there. I'm gonna film it from here. The light bulb's there. Make sure that it's because when I turn it, I don't need to force it. It should be it should be able to turn easily. All right, now it's security in place. See the uh, now it's all set. All I need to do is plug it in now. It's all plugged in, nice and secure. And before moving everything back, resembling the underliner, everything, turn on the headlamp. Let's test it out. Make sure it lights up. Good. Now I can start assembling everything back. On the right hand side, this is the OEM Honda Halogen Warm White headlight. On the left side, this is the one from Lace Fit. And we can see that 
in, in terms of the horizon, the laser fit one does shine a little bit higher, but I believe that's due to the daylight brightness being much brighter than the halogen one. And also, the, the one on the right hand side, that's still 2009 bulb. I have not changed it since I bought the vehicle. So that's why it's, it's a little bit dimmer. And the warm white color also doesn't really help. Whereas the daylight brightness from the LED light just illuminates a lot more, especially on the sides too. I'm currently 50 feet from my vehicle, standing directly in front of it. And um, the camera's about four feet above the ground. What I'm gonna do is move towards the incoming traffic side. The reason I'm doing this, I just wanna show that the incoming traffic, the drivers aren't blinded by my headlights. And I'm gonna move towards my vehicle. I'm about 40 feet away. It does not even look bad at all. It looks pretty nice. To quickly sum up the pros and cons, this Lace Fit Low Beam 9006 LED headlight bulb from a Honda Accord EXL V6 2009 model. It was, works great. It's very bright. I feel safer driving with it at night. It does a great job illuminating to the left, straight in front of me. Installation for my vehicle is a little bit more difficult, but as for the bulb itself, it's perfect. Just twist it on and hook in a power connector. The unit costs around $67 off Amazon, and at that price, for this kind of quality, yes, I would recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster.